most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement having. I'm literally sitting at 3 in the morning alone on a sidewalk underneath an overhang where generally speaking I find it reasonably safe for people like me in poverty and indigency to sit. And what I'm watching on my computer is videos that I've just recorded being edited by someone made shorter. Did I ask the fucking YouTube company to touch my videos? I did not. Did I ask some local shitbag police officer who's sitting behind the building fucking my rights to do that? I did not. Did I ask some little fucking Honduran who drives a garbage truck in this community to ever fucking touch my technology? I did not. Do I have the rage of America in me? I most certainly do. Because it's the rage in Americans that fight for me and you. And the people across America do not need a fucking military who does not regard the Biden policies, do you? You see, the Biden policies and the Biden-Harris policies of America right now are not belonging to Trump anymore. Let that fucking billionaire who can't keep his, own, his penis in his pants, who fucks four women as his wife, and then literally brings in some fucking international citizen to screw American leadership with her visit here. No offense to his new wife. Maybe she did something marvelous for America to keep us safer from the Israelis and the people of the Middle East, but I'm not sure about that. Because all we ever heard about, thanks to the Democrats and the Republicans, is what a fucking shitbag job he did in America. But what he did do correct is bring out the Yahoo police officers and the Yahoo country fried bumpkins and the Yahoo military officers that have allowed their minds to go mush. Meaning they forgot what America is about. America is about today is what? Are we the melting spot, the melting pot of the world? Are we the smorgasbord where people get to pick and choose? Are we the killing fields where nobody gets any rights anymore? You see, the Biden-Harris policies of America are everyone has rights. The Biden-Harris policies of America says you have the right to your own individual body and no political right movement of religious stupidity in front of God have the right to take it from you. That no politician has the right to abuse our long-term, long-standing, excellent election process, despite the fact we hate the debates and how they're handled and how stupid that is. It should be more like Miss America. Everybody gets the same fucking question. But in life, we have to talk about rights. And my right to my personhood, my paperwork, my property is protected under the fucking Fourth Amendment. But if people in your sibling set, people in your community, people in somebody's pastoral group, people in some religious group think they have rights to you, look what they're doing. They're saying anybody can touch you in the night, and that's not true. You see, people don't usually get upset about those things until it happens to them or happens to someone they care for in life. But what we have to be careful of are the psychologists and the medical practitioners and the illness that comes in from foreign lands that abuses and ruins our life. 